Hi guys, how are you? I am back with my design team project for Seneca Pond Craft with her uh, new digi kit and it is called the Practical Beekeeper. I am in love with this kit. It was so much fun to work with. So this is the kit, uh, the journal measures I'll tell you right now it measures uh, five and a half by uh, almost seven and it has a two and a half inch spine it is a chunky monkey so it is a hard cover book. I constructed the the cover myself. So what I've done is I have covered the journal in fabric. I use one of the images uh, for the cover, in front of the cover, stitched around, backed it with some uh, cheesecloth and glossy accented the chair and the hive kinda added some uh, glass glitter to some of the flowers I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up maybe not added this beautiful applique in the front it has some grommets uh, for the seam binding closure but I added that beautiful applique there it's just beautiful the spine looks like this. I added one of these uh, little holders. Has a beautiful removable tassel with a flower. And the tassel has all different types of fibers and pearls and leaves and laces. It's very luscious. So, and then the back. I have another beautiful applique there. Some little bit of lace here just to accentuate it. The corners have metal book corners. And that is the journal. So let's go inside. This kit was so much fun. You know, <laughs> I'm in, I I would love to be a beekeeper. Um, I'm just fascinated by them. Uh, they're so important to our existence, really, and I would love to. But fortunately, I am allergic to bees. So that's one dream of mine that I will never be able to fulfill. Uh, so this is the inside. I have a library card pocket here, some lace running down it, and I have a little glassine envelope, and in the envelope here I have a little card. Let's see if I could get it out. I have no nails at all. I just added this little card. It's a botanical little card and a little flower with a little bee and then here I left it open and added another little card from my stash and then this came from her collection these little cute little tags and I just added some eyelash trim that goes in there and then you have the tag and I just added some trim there and of course a note from the bookmaker is right in that pocket a little bit of trim here with some eyelet trim at the bottom of that I think I use every element of this kit because it is so gorgeous I'm gonna be bringing the book closer so you can see look at that those images are just absolutely beautiful and then she gives you background pages. So this is the background pages. They're like the honey honeycomb. 
and then uh, she gives you tabs. I used all the tabs on the edge of the pages. Did a lot of stitching. Uh, here I added one of these tippins fabric that I got from Amour Fabrics and it's like this paley yellow but it has like uh, little sparkles. The camera's not going to pick that up. Here I added uh, these little things. I added four of these. I got them online. Honey Bee's recipe. I thought they were fun so I just added those in there and they tuck right in that little pocket with the lace. The lace have all been stitched on. All of the lace have been stitched on the edge of the pages. Here, uh, one of these, uh, she gives you, this kit comes with a lot of ephemera, a lot of uh, cards. I use this one here. It's got like the honey drizzling down. I stitched it onto the front one. I stitched it onto coffee dyed paper. And I just made like a little booklet here for you to journal. And I just stapled, well, not stapled, paper clipped. And I have some um, muslin on the top. And the back looks like that. I use another one of her images for the back one. And I just paper clipped that there. This is some Edith Holden paper, and then I used some of her background pages and cut this apart. I got this idea from, uh, oh my gosh, what is her name? Uh, oh my gosh, it'll come to me. Mrs. Cox. I got this idea from Mrs. Cox. She does uh, stuff like this where she just puts it in, she puts these little things, you know, inside of them. So, worker bee, propolis, and comb. So I just put those in there. Little tags. Look at that, that other page from the kit. And then you get these little pockets here and the postcards and all the ephemera I backed on to coffee dyed paper stitched around it and then this is from the kit and I just sewed, sewed it onto coffee dyed paper and it's magnetized. This is some graph paper that I printed off. I just printed it off of um, it's some of my, uh, I think it's uh, uh, food coloring paper. And I just, uh, my printer has this option to do graph, and I just did that. Um, stitched some, some of that uh, more Fabrics uh, remnant after I cut out the, the, that little tip in. Just ruffled it on the edge. And then I got this online. It says bees love. Uh, this is like the the other side says it. Uh, flowers that bees love. So it says sunflower, con corn flowers, all the cosmos, you know, stuff that they love. Here we have some tracing paper, and I have one of these. Flip up, flip down for extra journaling. Little uh, doily here, and a little butterfly with some lace and cheesecloth. Another one of her images that says inspire. I hope that's focusing well. Oh, look at her background pages with all the bees. You just gotta look at this page. Isn't that just beautiful? I hope the camera's focusing. Little grassine bag, I left that empty coffee dyed paper and then you get a lot of these little envelopes which I love it says Queen Bee and I just added a little tag in there that I distressed for extra journaling and that just goes paper clip there this kit is huge too you get so much 
and then this is one of her pockets and after I put it there I realized it's probably uh, the background the music she is probably killing the image but you see the pocket there this is vintage music sheet and another one of her beautiful postcards stitched around onto coffee dyed paper another one of her pages coffee dyed paper this idea I got out of, I think it was Yvonne Preston, I seen one of her videos and she had a pocket similar to this one. I just did my own take, you know, on it. So I love that. Uh, and then this is another one of her ephemera pieces. I backed on and stitched on and then I have left it open in the back and it just had little pieces of paper. Put some muslin on tops and stapled it. I stapled it first and then covered the staples with muslin. So you can add something in the back there. And then I added lace here and you can journal more here. These are little cut aparts. They're little cups. Oh my gosh, how cute is those? Are those? And then I just added some uh, triple thick onto them to give them that sheen. I love them and I just added them on the envelope. The envelope is, all the envelopes in here are empty. This is a tea bag, a tea bag that I added, added some, some fringe there and they have little beads and a butterfly, some eyelet lace there and inside of it I have a little botanical, oh no it's not a botanical, one of her beautiful cards they fit perfectly in there and this has a beautiful applique also so that goes in there and then here I have some more of that her beautiful little cut aparts that come in the kit oh, backwards. and they're stitched on to Uh, coffee dye paper. More of her background pages. Vintage music sheet that feels so nice. Some of her graph background pages. Look at that other image there. More of her tabs. Glassine bag. tracing paper. This is the other side of that page. All the other rest of the flowers that bees love. Here I have a flip up and I took one of her um, pages and shrunk them down for a little flip out. Beautiful. Here I just took a doily and it says beehive. It almost says, it almost reads like it almost says beehive, but it's actually beehive. Little butterfly here with some bling, doily, cheesecloth, eyelash trim. So flip up. Another one of her background pages, they're like lined. And her background pages are wonderful because you can use them for other, of her, for other kits as well. So they're a great investment. That one says honey. More Edith Holden coffee dyed paper. This is another one of those uh, Google images and it tells you uh, the anatomy of a bee. Move her background pages. Look at how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. Coffee dyed paper. This is another one of her little uh, things. I magnetized it. And it's a little booklet. You can add more, you know, for extra journaling in here. And I took one of her pages, shrunk it down, you know, for extra journaling. Another one of her beautiful images. 
another tab more tracing paper Edith Holden another stitched on ribbon another one of her little teacups I love those this kit comes with mason jars and I just added some crochet trim and backed it onto coffee dye paper stitched around it I need to get me one of those bow makers because I am terrible at making bows <laughs> it's pitiful love mason jars another one of her pockets another one of her beautiful postcards love those so fun another glassine bag for you to add extra things in there and with every one of my kits I always send extras and you can further embellish or if you don't want the book to be this junky you can also take out the ephemera and then add them in as you wish another one of her cards this is uh, part of her kit as well it is the inner booklets I just added them like this I have the bees so I got that in a merchandise little bag another one of her pages that I shrunk down to make a little booklet distressed around it another flip a little collage it says royal jelly This is a uh, story out of one of my vintage books. It says Solomon and the Bees. Another one of her pages there. Another one of her little teacups. This is uh, Garden Notes and I just made a booklet out of it. And it has some coffee dyed papers in there. So I stitch right in the middle. And I made a little belly band with muslin. And that just slides right in there. Holds it in place. This is a glassine bag. And in here, in the back of the glassine bag, is another postcard. Goes in the back inside the glassine bag the boys in the hive another google image and that goes inside the glassine bag and then in the pocket I have more of her beautiful mason jar I love mason jars I'm obsessed and you can journal in the back of these and then oh, little tag in there and then I just have beautiful trim with little things of flower and a bee in the center and then here I have more tags stitched onto coffee dyed paper and that goes right in there in this merchandise bag she has this booklet and the, this is in the kit as well and it's an actual booklet you can also stitch this in the signature but I chose not to because I thought this would be perfect for a little you know for you to throw in your handbag I made the booklet I put muslin on the spine and then when you open it you have a pocket here and this all comes in the kit you know when you fold it and everything you get the pocket so it's beautiful and this is what I did I added coffee dyed paper in there and then on this side you get another pocket and I added another card in there so I, I just put it in here um, you can take it out put it in your handbag so this creates bulk in the journal as well. You don't have to keep it in the journal if you don't want to, but I just put it in there. 
this is another beautiful image. Oh my gosh, like a shed. I love it. This is another envelope. But she gives you a lot of little places for you to tuck things in. I love little little places to tuck things in. It's so fun. Hi, little secrets. And then you just put it back in there. Little glassine bag. I made another one of these uh, little comb thingies. And this one says nectar and beeswax. And then these, this one is one of those, uh, one of these. And I just made a little card to go in it. And you just fold it up like this. And you have your little envelope. Another one of her tags. Tabs, I mean. And that goes right in there. Edith Holden tracing paper and then you have one of these and I think I left this one empty I don't remember putting anything in there yeah I'll have to put something in there I'll add, I'll add a little card for that one I forgot that one beautiful it's like a little seed packet love it I'll probably just add one of these little guys Let me see if he fits in here. I'll just add one of these beautiful little cards so that you can journal. Yeah. Problem solved. They're cute. Uh, oh, look at that page. Look at this one. Isn't that just beautiful, that page? I love it. we got two more cards. For more journaling. I love this kit. I've been so anxious for this kit. Oh, it's, it's just so cute. Beautiful. And you don't need to be a beekeeper to use this kit. This kit is just absolutely beautiful for anybody. This one says Queen. A little flip up. Look at that. I love it. Here I altered a Rolodex card. Let me bring it up. Little bee flower, a little collaging with lace. And this is her kit as well. Everything in here is her kit except for the Google. Uh, the four little Google images. Look at that, so cute. And then this is another tab. Coffee dye with another pocket. more ribbon. This tells you about the life cycle of a bee. I got that from Google. Look at that, so cute. Edith Holden. Glassine bag. Two more mason jars. Certified organic. And these also have been stitched around. Look at that. That's like a quilted patchwork. Here we have another one of these little booklets in the back. Flips up. Mm 
another envelope with her beautiful little teacup that says 25 cents and it has a little bee on it. Here I have an altered uh, alterations check with some eye lip lace, little seam binding on the top, just her two little tags there. Another little booklet. Another flip. This one says honey. Another magnetic uh, little journaling spot with her envelope thingies. Another postcard. I had so much fun with this kit. Look at this one here. So muted, so beautiful. Here you have another little tip in. Keep your secrets. A little tab. A same bag. Edith Holden. Another one of these. Look at this image. This is the other side of the life cycle of the bees. Another one of these little guys here, and this one says the Virgin Queen. Pollination and pollen. Oh, pollen is killing me right now. All this pollen. Vintage music sheet. And this comes as a cut apart of her kit. I just used it as a large tag. That goes back there. This opens up. It's magnetic. And you can add. And I added more, more pages for you to journal. This is another one, Honey Pollination, Google image. This is another little tiny envelope, I love these things. Beekeeper, and I just added a little card in there. And then this is the back. And on the back, I just added two of my little cards from my stash. You can journal on the back. These are so nice and they're heavy. So that goes in the back of the envelope. And then this is a glassine envelope. And I just added some crochet. I think it was either Aaliyah or Alicia who sent me these. I'm so sorry, girls. I can't remember. Uh, but thank you. And this is a little yellow flower that my friend Aaliyah sent me. Thank you, Aaliyah with some seam binding and then inside here I have a little booklet for you to do a little bit more journaling as if you didn't have enough space already <laughs> and a little bit of crochet there a little bit of trim there and then this comes out in case you want it to add maybe the year uh, that you started documenting in the journal so I think that was cute and then my label there and then that is the back of it beautiful beautiful kit luscious luscious so I hope you guys like it this is gonna be in my Etsy shop and um, let me know what you guys think Thank you so much, Eileen, for making such a beautiful kit. Guys, you guys got to go and check out Seneca Pond Crafts. She has beautiful, beautiful things in her shop. Uh, you won't be disappointed. She has something for everybody. And it, it's just amazing. So I hope you guys like this. And I am going to be working on a custom order next. And yeah. 
thank you so much and welcome to all of my new subscribers I appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and to all my regular subscribers thank you for sticking with me alright guys I will talk to you in the next video bye